obviously cannot predict the future. We don't know exactly what is going to happen. But the risk is now high enough, and the threat is now immediate enough, that this is what prudence demands. Jake Sullivan added that it's not clear if Putin has decided to invade Ukraine. And Moscow has repeatedly denied an invasion is in the works. More than 150 dogs are safe after being seized yesterday from a suspected puppy mill. The Pickens County Shelter says it's been working with shelters across the Carolinas to take in these animals. Our Kylie Jones tells us what's gone into caring for these animals. The Pickens County Animal Shelter has 60 of those dogs taken yesterday, some just puppies. They say the way they found them was heartbreaking. Sky 4 over the scene of a suspected puppy mill. Investigators took 166 dogs from this property in Pickens County, living in what they call deplorable conditions. When you have 166 dogs on one property, there's no way that someone can properly take care of those animals. The sheriff's office arrested and charged Judith Brown with ill treatment of animals. Every dog got a, a quick checkup. They got, you know, vaccinated, microchipped, treated for fleas, dewormed. You know, all of that happened kind of on the scene before they were even loaded and moved somewhere. Charleston Animal Society was one of the shelters on scene Thursday helping remove the dogs. Anderson County Paws took over 20 home last night as well. Um, Charlotte Mecklen Mecklenburg was here today. They took 21 animals and Cashers Highland and Bryson City um, also came up today. When you get an influx of this many animals, it's just they just don't have the ability to, to house them uh, for a period of time. Carolina Poodle Rescue also took several dogs from Anderson County Paws Friday. Paws staff says most of the dogs were healthy, ranging in age from one to two weeks old to around 10 years old. They say they see a lot of cases like this. People get overwhelmed and a lot of times it is just an education issue and lack of vet care um, or lack of access to veterinary care due to funds. In the meantime, shelters are encouraging people to foster or adopt other dogs already in the shelters. Right now, the shelter says the best way to help is to donate. It says these dogs will need a little bit more care before they're ready to be adopted. In Pickens County, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4. In Anderson, police are asking for your help with a cold case. Officers tell us Paula Thomason's body was found in a remote area of Old Belton Highway back on May 8, 1997. Paula was 34 years old. Deputies say a gun fell out of a woman's purse, went off, and a bullet 